Hello, Gemini. Thank you for watching your first half of May reading here. For the main read, I'm using the Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. And for the support cards, the Secret Language of Color by Inna Sagal. There we go. Um, bum, 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 bum. So that over there. I've already shuffled the main cards. I don't know why the other ones... I might not use the Inna Sagal cards, to tell you the truth. Because I didn't shuffle them. I'm not sure why. You know what? Actually, I'm going to use the magical spell cards because apparently I'm changing direction. <laughs> uh, Lucy Cavendish is that one. Very how Gemini of me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, I feel like um, I do have some Gemini in my chart, but I like that energy. I have to admit, it's a very alluring energy. Um, I don't know why that came across that way. That's interesting. They're like, no. Okay. Oh, well, you know what? No? I don't know. Why Why are we pulling, like, back and forth? Like, this card, that goes there, face down? No. Okay, so what's going on here with the energy? Because I feel like I'm going in and out, in and out. I feel like I'm going in and out, in and out. Um, I want to make decisions. I don't want to make decisions. I'm ready to go forward. I'm not ready to go forward. I feel like I'm in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, so what's happening? I feel like you're in the in the possibility of change. Do you want to move forward? Do you not want to move forward? I feel like we're going in and out, in and out, in and out. It's a very strong feeling here. And I feel like you're talking over things. Is it the best top? Is it this is the, is this the best time? This is the best time. Is this the best time? Maybe it's not the best time. What is happening? I'm getting this best possible decision, which I feel like you're holding time and you're just not moving forward. Hey. Hey. Um. Okay. Now, is this? What are we talking about here? What are we talking about? A lot of ideas. I feel like this in, in this part, you're just you're thinking about a lot of things, and you're going a lot of different ways mentally. I do feel like there's some communication going on, and I, I I'm kind of feeling like there's false starts, like you're starting things, but then you're like no, and you just kind of like maybe considering starting something else, and you're like well I didn't really want to do that. It turns out so I'm I'm not gonna do this yet either. I feel like um, the plan needs to be further developed. All right, what's the plan? <gasps> Things are coming towards you, and it just seems to be changing the situation. I feel like you have a lot of ideas. or you, I feel like you're looking at a, a destination. But then you're also looking at it like, maybe it's not the best decision for me. But I feel like you're like, well, you know, let me try. And you kind of go in a certain, you try it out. But then you're like, you know what? I don't know. And you kind of like stop. <coughs> and I feel like when you... Feral! Come on! I know. Oh, the duff out there? Yep. He's like, yep, and I'm loving him. She's like, yep, and me choose. Okay, all right, cool. Really cool. Yeah, I love you too. Okay, okay. Yep, yep, okay. Ugh. I love you guys too. Okay. There's craziness going on in my house right now. <laughs> there's things, there's alarms going off, there's dogs barking and attacking me with kisses. For the love of Pete. Um. Is this an, this is, to get, I want to use the word indicative all today. I don't know why. I'm like, that's my favorite word at the moment. No idea why. Um, all right, what's this? This is, just, the energy is like, things are not as they seem. I, I really feel like that's what this re reading is saying. And there's, I feel like there's confusion going on in my house right now because a minute ago, this was not happening. happening. Um, this is like saying how things are just up 
in the air and just a lot coming at you and things are changing. I first looked at this, I thought the compass was a clock and now I'm realizing it's a compass. Um, and I feel like this is telling me how this is working out for you. Like, you're looking at one thing and you're sure it's, like, for example, I looked at it, I was sure it was a clock. I pick it up and it's literally a compass on this, in this person's hand. So I feel like you're looking at certain things and you think, okay, that's what's going on. I'm going to do this. And then you're like, oh, that's not what that was. Well, then I don't want to do this because that's not how, that, that doesn't match. Um, what is going on? And there's a lot of like, around you, there's like, I feel like there's this open spot. It's all about you in the beginning in the sense of like, I don't feel like, I don't feel like there's people affecting you. I feel like it's situations. Maybe, how do I put this? What you thought was happening in certain spots is not what's actually happening. And as you start and get involved in things, you're like, oh, that's this is not at all what I thought this was. And you know, I don't want I, I don't want this. Like I don't really want this because this isn't what I thought it was. And you kind of step out of it because you're like, no, this isn't what I thought it was, and you kind of step out. So then you're kind of like, what do I, what do I want to do with this? And you're kind of stuck in this sense of like, I don't know what to do feeling. Kind of like things, I don't know what to make of things now. Like that wasn't what I thought it was and now I'm not sure what I want to do. But you're kind of like, I want to do something. I just, I don't know what I want to do because th this isn't what I thought it was. Um, I feel like you're moving things forward and you're kind of manifesting things, but you're in so many directions at once like things are kind of overlapping and kind of like um kind of like if you're painting colors are bleeding into each other and they're not making the picture you want it to be um you like all the pieces separately like all the colors separately and all the textures separately but the way they're merging together you're just like that's that's not what i want and you're just kind of things are not coming together like you want them to Kind of like the whole craziness in my house. Like it's all, it's all like in a uproar. Like and like things are just not what you thought they were. And it's kind of like putting you in this dizzy state. Like, uh, what's going on? I don't know. To I can't make a decision and I can't move forward because I don't really know what's going on. And I feel like there's this need to like grab hold of it and hold it down. But it's just like it's kind of like you can't. Like, you try to grab pieces and they're just not, you can't hold on to them. Because things are so all over, it feels like. Things are not working out the way you want them to. But not like they're working against you. They're just not what you thought they were. It's like situations are bleeding into each other and it's causing discord and chaos. Um, and I feel like that's mostly in respect to, like, causing things to be out of focus from what you wanted it to be maybe more out what you thought it would be, what you thought it was. I feel like this time, because I'm like trying to like, what are we getting at here? Like, why is this important? I feel like you're learning like what's actually happening in situations or what, like, I feel like some of you are going towards like uh, trying to learn another aspect of life or something like that. And you're getting into it. But when you're realizing what it's actually about, you're not as interested as you thought you were. You're getting involved in things you thought you were interested in, but once you get like a clear picture of what's going on, you're not really that interested. Okay. So as I go forward here, I feel, <laughs> I feel like you're actually just investigating. Like you thought things were one thing. They're not what you thought. So you're kind of like, you know, I, now that I'm in it, I don't really want this. So I'm stepping out. And you're finding out more about the situation, other things. You're delving into things. The people around you, this is when the people around you pop in and they're just like, what is happening? What are you doing? Like, I feel like people are questioning you or, like, they're they're kind of, like, upset. Like, where are you going? Like, what is going on? Like, I thought you wanted to do this. Why are you not doing this now? And you're explaining to them, well, it wasn't what I thought it was. I ha I just, I thought it was this. Turns out it's this. And I don't want that. And so I moved on from it. And they're just like, and I feel like that's the person on this card, if you see them, they're just kind of like, what is happening? What are you doing? Um... And they, they feel like it comes back at you that way, and they, they express that. And I feel like that bothers you. Because um, it kind of like... I feel, I feel like it comes back in a sense like it bothers you, and you feel a little upset about it, because almost like some trust or like some confidence was lost. I feel like it bothers you. That that's how that's being reacted to. But you're like... 
the way you're explaining it, you're like, you're telling them like, but it wasn't what I wanted. I thought it was. I just, the information that I had and what I thought it was, turns out it wasn't that. And it's not what I want. I don't want to spend time doing that when it's not really what I want. And I do feel like you're kind of walking away from something because it's not, it turns out it's not really what you want. So you change direction. But you're also feeling a little um, dejected from people around you because they don't seem to be understanding this change of direction you're having. Hmm. I do have some Gemini in my chart. It's making me wonder if this is going to happen for me. Because I feel like in the beginning, you get the communication out there. And what you think is going to happen, it, things change. And I feel like the most upsetting part of this is how it's reacted around you, how people around you, around you are reacting, and it's just not the way you'd like it to be. Um, you'd like people to be more on board with how you feel, and they're more seeing the negative of the situation, and they're thinking you're being a little um, flitty. Flitty? Is that the word I want to use? Like, they don't feel like you're really making good... They feel like you're not making good decisions. I'm not convinced that's the case. I just feel like they don't understand what you're doing. And you may be coming at it in a sense like the way you're explaining it, they're just like they're like certain words are popping in their head and they're just hearing all the negative and you're still making your same decision. You're going to do what you need to do, but you're just I feel like it's upsetting to you that people aren't understanding what you want to do. What you have done. At this point, at some point I feel like you do go forward but you want in the respect of like this isn't what you want, so you step out of it. Um, I feel like the moon in the center of this also like it goes from this to this. In other words, it was the situation wasn't what you thought it was. So when you find out what it actually is, you're just kind of like, I'm not into this. I'm just not into this. And you kind of, I feel like I get this step out feeling like you're stepping out of it. And the most bothersome part of this reading for you is like how it's received. In a social sense, in a family sense, like other people around you are just not understanding. They don't like. They don't like it. They, it makes them uncomfortable because they feel like this is causing a. Um, they feel like it's causing an error. They feel like it's an error. But I, I feel like the way you're going into this, you're like, this isn't an error. This isn't. This just turns out to not be what I want. So I need to change direction. I'm not going to stay on a path, going to a place I don't want to be. And you're feeling like there's infinite possibilities for you about where you can go. This isn't. This just turns out to not be where you want to be, so you're you're moving on from it. Okay. Okay. So we're kind of coming with that. All right. So I feel like we got to the point where we needed to with this. Um, hopefully this helped. Uh, thank you, by the way, to everybody who leaves comments. I do read the comments. I read them on my phone, which doesn't give me the ability to like, respond like I'd like to. Um, but I very much thank you, and I do read the comments. Also, if you would like to uh, purchase a reading from me, go ahead, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com, james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.